What's going on, everybody? This is D. Frank. You're back in the domain. I think we're at episode seven now. So we're about to get right into it. We just last left off with Colonel Cortez dropping us off with his speedboat as he took his yacht and cruised to wherever the hell he went off to. And yeah, I've decided to take a break for a couple days from the streaming and uploading to just get my mind back together, man. It's been a la long last few weeks. So everybody needs a mental break every now and again. Hopefully it might help me end up playing a little bit better. So we're about to take this boat and go straight to Starfish Island and we're going to roll up on that boy Diaz and uh, give him the business. Since, um, you know, Lance then already made the move and just made force our hand and stuff. So how's everybody's day and week been going and whatnot, man? Um, what everybody's been thinking of the game so far because I've been seeing a plenty of reviews coming out as of lately and honestly, I'm going to wait to give my full you know just a full in-depth review on my end and try to compile as much information as possible before I do it and I just want to give like the best review possible and I'm gonna just leave it at that for the time being but in the meantime I'm gonna still try to you know chug through the main storyline missions of all three games before I really do that and we're gonna dock we're gonna dock right here and take this phone call. All right, Tommy, it's Paul. I've just heard from a mush that you've been a real naughty boy. Somebody's taken offense to you acting like the big guy all of a sudden, giving it a big shot thing. Well, don't say I never warned you or nothing. Boasting is a mugs game, son. Anyway, I heard there's some fines that's got on your head and someone's going to have a crack at you, so watch yourself. And remember me, mate. Tommy looked so uninterested in what Ken Paul had to say. So, we're about to... Attempt to dock the boat, jump up on dry land, and go around and holler at that boy, holler at the homie Diaz. Now what the? Man! Oh, okay. I was about to have a fit, y'all. I was about to have a fit. Like, how you gonna jump? I was about ready to, man, I was about ready to go in. Thankfully, that crisis was averted. But let me be careful near that water because I still don't want to go in and y'all hear me raging out. So, we're taking one last little stroll around the mansion. I think I'm going to go in the bushes over here and find that sniper rifle that's over here. Mm-hmm. Yes, this is so, so much fun running around through the hedge maze. Um, that's not where I wanted to be at. Man, screw it. Screw it, screw it, screw it. I had it for you. One, two. Screw it, screw it, screw it. We're about to let Tommy catch his breath. And then we're going to go and go over there and do what we came here for. Get out of way, Joe. Time to catch in his breath. I got us some cannons in the trunk. Holy shit. Where'd you get all this stuff? You've been saving for a rainy day. <laughs> you like? Yeah, I like. Man's been waiting to pull out that dog on M4. Look at Diaz. He he acting like he ready. He ready for whatever. Don't worry, Tommy. I'll cover you. Yeah, sure you're gonna cover me, Lance. I know your track record. Got a problem with me? This way. 
shit. What the hell you doing, Lance? Okay, Lance. You gonna get it in the face? Why does that sound so wrong in so many ways? I don't want it in the face. And out of all the times I ever played this mission, this is my very first time attempting to go around the back way instead of uh, going up to the front door and then working my way all back around, like going through the hedge mazes and stuff like that. So Diaz must be inside. we're about to take it up on the inside now. Nope. We ain't we got no help for the... Oh, I'm surprised this mission ain't respawned my armor as well because uh, it respawned me with full health. Man, Lance is still stuck downstairs. Let me run down here and grab this idiot real quick. Hey, yeah, you big dummy. Come on. Get your stupid ass. Well, I think I got a solution for that. You think you can hurt me? Come on, you idiot. I had to smack him around just to get him to come on. Probably should have left him down there. And that's the only bit of damage Lance has taken so far. Beautiful sure. high ceilings in here. You understand what Fucking this is? Ceilings. That ain't my concern right now. We gotta take Diaz out. I accidentally went to my pistol. I think I wanna try to get a little bit cute. Take Diaz out with the with the M4. And screw it, I don't I can't see him right away, so we're gonna creep a little. Wait a minute. Well them shots come There we go. Diaz! I've come to take over your business! Tommy! You betrayed me, you idiot! I'm gonna kill you real soon! And then your legs. Eat this, you murdering bastards! Yeah, let me quit playing around. Lanston took a, a bunch of... How many times I'm going to tell you I don't want it in the face and that just sounds so wrong. What did you expect? I just catched how jacked up Tommy's eye looked. Like one was bigger than the other one, like right before he shot Diaz. I think that was just me, I don't know. Well, we are 50 grand richer, my good people, and I'm about to get Tommy out of his stanky tracksuit. It's been a while. We're about to do a manual save. Well, I didn't mean to say, well, I don't, I don't know, man, screw it. We're about to. I'm glad that phone call came through because I want to go get a bike before I. Tommy, son, this. a bike got a surprise for you. I'm down at recording studios with some major artists. Why don't you pass a visit? 
You know it makes sense, don't ya? See you later. All right. It was Kent Paul calling about Love Fist. We'll probably tackle those missions towards towards the after we beat the main story or if we just come just need some extra cash all right we got got hell spawning in here m4 let me see who this is calling now Tommy, remember me? hello sonny that's right sonny we're all friends you never write me you never call don't you want to be friends no more i've been busy trying to sort things out you didn't give me a lot of support down here sonny Oh, my fault, is it? Well, I've heard you've been busy, all right. Busy killing drug barons. Busy taking over. Don't forget about us, Tommy. Because I can assure you, I ain't forgotten about you. Man, hey, don't you want to be friends no more? One of Tommy's goons said it right. Forget about it. I don't know. Who want to be friends with Sonny anyway? Tommy knew what the deal was. This is, should be one of the last times this particular car spawns here like that. That has to be one of the glitches of the game with the garage just making that same hung up sound like it's broken or something. I, I can't stand it. It drives me crazy hearing it. Well, guys. We're going to start, also start some of the uh, protection racket missions. And we also have it to where we can buy assets and properties. And we're going to wait till we complete the very last, you know, like Versetti estate asset mission before we start buying the properties and doing the mission for those. And you're going to see why I'm, buying, I'm over here ramming this bike out of place because I don't want it to spawn the mission. And, um,. I'm about to experiment and see because I have a hypothesis of what I want to do with this thing. So, honestly, I'm going to just come back to you guys once I get to get back to uh, the Rossetti mansion after we just seen it glitch out. So, I'm about to do a little bit of experimentation. We'll be back at the Rossetti mansion. Cracking boy. All righty, you guys, we are about to get ready to start on the Vercetti estate missions. And as you see, the white inferness is now spawning in front of. The mansion that's Lance's car and the red one I took before that was the last time you was gonna see that one because you know Diaz is gone. It would have been dope if Lance's you know helicopter would have spawned on the roof too, but let's get to this first mission, y'all. Oh, we gotta redecorate this place. We gotta make it look older. I can't stand this look. Tommy, what do you say? What do you say we put a bar in the... You're my lawyer, Rosenberg, not my interior decorator. Got it? Listen to me. The time to take over this town is now. It's all out there waiting for us. We need to start seizing territory. And let Vice City know we're the new players in town. You know what I'm saying? What you need is a legitimate front, Tommy. Real estate. It's never done me no harm. We need to start using some muscle. Or we can kiss all that hard work goodbye. Local business know Diaz is dead, and they're refusing to pay protection. Oh, we could try bribery. Bribery? Screw bribery. I'll show you how to make them scared. I'll be back here in five minutes. Anybody notice Thomas, Tommy's right eye? It looks like... What the f I'm going to have to insert a picture from a cartoon what that thing reminds me of, and it's kind of creepy. Let me go back. I could use some of that ammo. That ammo is going to come in handy. And you're going to see why I'm, well, you're going to see why I'm on this bike. So long as I don't crash out or anything, I think this bike will help this mission go by a lot faster. And I still can't get over the GPS in the 1980s. I can understand it's, it's uh, helping out some of the uh, newer people to Vice City who don't know where they're going. But 
Eh, it's just a little small little nitpick. I can. It'll be all right. Ah! It's always some idiot doing that when I'm recording. Get back on the bike, Tommy. I got your dumb ass, but if I wasn't on this mission, I'd, I'd have it, but we, we gonna keep, we gonna continue on. Damn, idiots, that, that, that crap right there never fails. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're almost there. Look at this idiot in that stinger just driving like a bat out of hell, as they say. So, normally when you do this mission, you gotta. You gotta smash out all the wonders anyway, and you're gonna get a one at level anyway. So let's just go ahead and and this on this bike just makes it a lot quicker getting around to the stores that you gotta smash out. And if you'd have came in on if you'd have came in on this end of the store, you'd have to you'd have, what the hell. What? Did this mission just... I'm not gonna complain though, but did this just... Did this mission just... Marked it as past and not an even... Only smashed out half of the glasses? Bro, y'all just witnessed this as I was recording. I'm, I'm, I'm dumbfounded. This thing literally just passed the mission for me, and I was on, and I wasn't nowhere near through smashing out all the glasses. And also, in the original, you would get a wanted level as you smash those glasses out. But you know, it normally doesn't supposed to do it like that. But as uh, Avery Carrick can say in one of those uh, side missions we're going to eventually do, you don't, live a, you don't look a gift horse in the mouth, so we're about to go on to the next mission. Because you're supposed to get a five-star wanted level after, you know, completing that mission. thought I'd bring you up and give you some advice. Hey, Avery, what's eating you? There's a lot of opportunity in this town if you own the right real estate. You catch my drift? I reckon so. All I'm saying is keep your eyes open, and you might find the perfect business opportunity. I'll catch you later. Later, Avery. All right, we're going to ride back to the Versetti Estate and complete the very next mission. Man, these people are driving like fucking morons right about now. But yeah, that is the first time I've ever seen this thing glitch out like that where it just automatically passed that mission when I was only halfway done completing it, which is usually like when it glitches out, it usually do it for the worst. So I'm not going to complain about it too much, but it just left me dumbfounded that that happened as we was recording this. So, yeah, let's get ready to, I'm going to do a manual save. I'm going to do a, I'm going to do a manual save, and then we're going to do the next mission too, so, yeah, hold on for a second. So yeah, let's let's hope we see some more interesting stuff as we're recording.
What's the problem? Some bars refuse to pay. They reckon they're protected by a local gang of thugs. But don't worry, Tommy. I can handle it. You call this handling it? You two, off your asses. Let's go. Last. Lance just had that look like, yeah, whatever, motherfucker. Yeah, I'm gonna handle this shit by the, uh, I'm gonna handle this shit by not doing a goddamn thing. So yeah, let's let's go ahead and look at the security guard down there. That's just an omen for this mission. Get in the car, stupid. I think the very next mission is Copland, and. I'm going to do that in a separate episode because it's looking like a lot of the glitches and well some of these glitches are new but like most of the like oversights and things like that are still the same from the originals so I'm going to show you something real cool and to help you complete 100% with um that makes it a little bit easier on you when we do Copland and, and yeah I think that'll yeah that'll be worth That'll be worth showing off. And it's going to be a little time consuming. That's the reason I'm going to make it one whole episode by itself. Um, I was going to say, are you going to... Protection needs a little more protection. Ah, oh, hell, not again. I don't need this crap. These idiots operate out of DVP security around the block. You guys just sort it out amongst yourselves. I'll be seeing you later. Yeah, yeah, whatever. You can tell this guy really... Get out the way! I see why Tommy called him useless. You can tell Tommy really do... Do not care. At all. So... Let's go pay DB, DBP security a visit. So that light just changed green. Let's hope these damn things actually do right. What the fuck? Ah, here we go with the stupid shit. Get in the car. Wait, wait. My security car just did me a favor. Get out the way. Oh, really now? Man, that, that security car around there doing the work. I'm cool with that. Simple enough, right? Simple enough. And the one time that the crazy aggressive drive, uh, drivers with this AI, it actually did us a favor. Man, I ain't gonna complain about it this time. But usually that would be a big complaint. Tommy, 
we gotta talk about stuff. What's the problem, Lance? It's you, my friend. I feel you're not giving me a fair slice. And more than that, you've been embarrassing me in front of the boys. I can't have that. Lance, it ain't like that. You've been making mistakes. Tommy, I'm not your message boy. I'm not your running boy. Lance, don't screw up and we won't have any problems. I screw up, you can lay into me anytime. Tommy, I've done everything for you. You treat me like a fool. Don't do that. Lance, I won't rip you off or stab you in the back, okay? Just take it easy. This is tough enough without you getting all emotional on me. Trust me. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? I hear you, Tommy. But I can't take this much more. Lance, don't be like this. Now I'm warning you. Do you hear me? Just relax. Take a few days off. Okay? I'll talk to you. All right. We got Lance being an emotional mess. He's done with that. We're going to pick up this armor. And I was just going to ride like to the Malibu Club and just, you know, see how much uh, it would cost to buy. So after we do what Copland, that's when I think I'm going to start buying the assets. Either that or I think I'm going to just complete all like the little side missions. 120,000. So, yeah, I think I'm going to probably do like some vigilante missions, some of the Avery Carrington missions. Um, think probably assassination missions as well um, just to just to you know rake in some extra money so we can go and buy these assets and you know to set up towards the uh, final mission of the game it's raining while the sun is out on certain spots it's an old country saying that means the devil is beating his wife don't ask me what that means because I don't even know. I just knew it was been a saying that I remember my mom saying ever since I was a little kid. So I don't have the answers for that. Oh yes, this the next mission is Copland. So what I'm about to do is um, drive inside the estate, save the game, and we're gonna end the recording after I save the game, and we're gonna start up with the uh, next mission being Copland. Mm -hmm.